Hey guys, welcome to Sketch Today. I'm Spencer and we are back. Today's episode's a little bit different because I got something in the mail that I want to open with you guys. But before we begin, if this is your first time, be sure to hit subscribe, turn on alerts, and come say hi on my Instagram. I am at sketchaday.com. And definitely check out sketchaday.com slash newsletter where you'll be able to sign up for my newsletter and get this free super sketch tip guide. It's pretty awesome, full of tips. And newsletter subscribers will be getting something special soon. So you'll want to sign up for that. Okay, so I got this package in the mail and I'm really excited to open it with you guys. It's actually some new markers. So if you've watched the channel before, you know I use Copic markers quite a bit. So we're literally gonna take these for a test run right now. All right, let's see. I found these markers on eBay. I believe they're Bianyo brand or something like that. Bianyo? Bianyo? Not quite sure. Ooh, they come in a little case. Over here. Okay. I don't even remember how many I ordered, but I think it was about 35 bucks. As far as markers go, if you've ever used a Copic marker, you'll know that they're crazy expensive. Looks like we got a little zip tie here. Mm. What do we have here? Okay. Some awesome, awesome colors. Everything from, I can tell this is a blender. Um, we've got some grays, colors, all that good stuff. I'm gonna pick a couple of these reds. Let's go ahead and pick, let's see, cool gray. Was this cool gray five, which means there's probably a three. There's got to be a seven. So three, five, seven. This is a little bit different for me because I'm so used to my Copic system. But let's take a look at these so far. I'm also testing out this Canson marker paper, and it's pretty good so far. So it looks like we kind of have our standard tip there, chisel tip on one side, and. I got the markers with a bullet tip, it looks like. So didn't really quite know what I was going to be getting on eBay. So let's see how our chisel tip performs. Actually, so far, pretty good. Looks pretty good. And if I let's see how the blending goes here. All right, well, it looks like I'm able to get a fairly decent blend on this blue. See what the red looks like. Okay, this is a red 128. Doesn't really have a name. All right. Reminds me of the Copic Red 29, actually. Okay, go ahead and shade this. I do feel as though they're a little bit streakier than my Copics, but that could just be my brain playing tricks on me. Just for comparison's sake, let's go ahead and compare a Copic Blue and a Copic Red. I also have the 29 for comparison's sake here. All right, so this is a Copic Blue 4. Pretty close actually in color. And now that the ink has kind of quieted down and settled on our sample up top, it actually seems pretty good. I might just be used to the smell and the flow of the Copics. I feel as though the red on this marker doesn't quite have the same blend that I did with the blue. Okay, so this is a this is a little bit dry, but it's a red 27. You can kind of see how see how this looks. Probably needs a little bit of 29, so not exactly a a totally fair comparison, but pretty close. I mean, I wouldn't say the colors are on par necessarily, but as far as blending, if you're just trying to get some cheap markers, I would say the blending seems to be fairly good. Now, one thing I've noticed with some markers and the inks is that what you perceive as a cool gray or warm gray isn't consistent from brand to brand. Let's start with a cool gray three and I'll grab a Copic Cool Gray 3, set it here as well. And on top, go ahead. This one, just at a glance, it feels maybe a little bit more neutral gray to me. It doesn't have quite the, the same bluish tone that I'm used to, but just at a glance. And let's see, yep, the Copic appears to be one, a little bit lighter, but two, it just has a bluish tone to it, okay? So 
We've got the, that Bionio blue, red, and gray. Now let's see if we can blend some of these colors. You know, sometimes it's really hard to blend something like a red into a blue. I'll do that with the Bionio here. Let's see, we've got our red 120. I'll use a lighter red, this 107. Again, whatever that means and see how that goes. Okay, so we'll start here with the red, just like that. And to be fair, I will do the same thing on my Copics. Let's grab a different red 27. That's perhaps a little juicier for a fair comparison. So it appears so far, I'm not sure if it's because of the blue ink, but this blend feels like it's going a bit more purple on the Copic. But while the ink is a little bit wet here, see what we can come up with. It's gonna go dark, but that's all right. And we'll just continue to blend this up. All right. And don't worry, on the top, we can wake up the ink and so forth. Let's see what that blend looks like. All right. And like I said, this is a really, really hard test to do on markers because the colors are just so different, these reds and the blue. All right, so back to my super cheap Bionio marker here. Blue 203. Let's go ahead and scrub that red. Get that alcohol in. They're supposed to be alcohol based, so they really should just blend. Whoa, that is juicy. <laughs> I was not anticipating that. So I will say it, it seems like almost like the alcohol on the paper that was there it kind of like really pulled, almost sucked the ink out of the marker. That was wild. Almost like that's what it felt like to me. Now it's kind of drying, you guys may not be able to see, but if I tilt the paper here, you can kind of see these two blends. And so far, I mean, you know, if you look at this row, we're talking about, let's see, I believe this is the 72 kit I got. So 72 markers or 48, something like that. But in any case, it works out to about a dollar per marker. You know, the Copic markers, you're looking at anywhere from five to eight. US dollars, depending on, well, I'll just say six to eight because it's rare that you find them for, for $5. So I would say so far, it looks like the marker game is heating up because these Bionio markers, they're actually not bad. You know, if I take this darker red here, um, you'll see I can further improve that blend. And now I have a nice, uh, Nice color blend there. Although I will say my preference still is with the Copic marker, mostly because I have made the investment in the inks and all of that. Um, the inks are great because you can refill each marker multiple times. But if you're a student on a tight budget, I will say based on my limited experience so far that these Bionio markers are definitely in the running. I'd like them more than Prismacolor, for example. I've always felt like Prismacolors are just a little cheap and not cheap in the monetary sense, but just the way that they perform. Bionio markers seem to be holding up pretty well, um, particularly with, with this gray. This is a really nice blend. Um, not a huge fan of the base color of that gray though. Like I said, it does feel quite a bit less blue than the Copic I'm used to. You know, for comparison's sake, here is Copic blended with the, this is a C5 blended with the C3. Blend those together. Definitely more blue than the Bionio. So once again, up top we have the Bionio. Since I have this, I'll just go ahead and write it. <laughs> so you guys can see what I'm talking about, Bionio, and we have Copic down below. So that being said, for a dollar per marker, not bad. And I think if you worked on your technique and focused on just working within the limitations of this tool, I would argue that it is a solid buy, um, particularly if you're using markers in your daily sketches, just for rough stuff. Make It's it's like a no brainer, um, 30 bucks, get some cheap marker paper. If you wanted to use these on printer paper, you don't, at least I wouldn't feel like I'm wasting my money and resources doing that. So I'm really excited to use these. Stay tuned for the next video where I will actually use these on a real sketch and see, we'll see kind of how that, that turns out. 
All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had fun. And if you have any questions about these markers, be sure to drop them in the comments. I will put a link to the markers for Amazon if you're looking to purchase those. Um, but you can also Google and figure out where you want to purchase them. But it's a great way to support what we do here at Sketch A Day. Oh, I forgot to mention Fridays, 9 a.m., I go live here on my YouTube. So you'll definitely want to subscribe and turn on alerts. Otherwise, you'll kind of miss what's happening. This last Sunday, I live streamed as well, and I go live on Wednesdays. So definitely turn on those alerts. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time on Sketch A Day.